What's up? It's Way Up at Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee. Jasmine Brand is here. I'm here. And we got your Yee tea for you. Okay. So Robert De Niro was outside the Donald Trump trial that's happening right now in New York. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he had a closing statements where yesterday, actually, this is the criminal fraud case centered on payment to Stormy Daniels, the adult film uh, star that (laughs) Donald Trump allegedly paid off right right? well anyway Robert De Niro had this to say about why you better make sure that you vote and what could potentially happen if Donald Trump makes it back in office I love this city I don't want to destroy it Donald Trump wants to destroy not only the city but the country and eventually he could destroy the world. Yeah, I mean, listen, he ain't wrong. He's not, and I appreciate when it, when an actor or these Hollywood stars, I appreciate when they give us their honest opinion about politics. Because it can actually affect their pockets. <laughs> Absolutely. There's people that are Trump supporters who also love Robert De Niro who mm-hmm. are going to come for him, and he doesn't care. His yep. opinion is his opinion. Yep. There's a lot of people who are nervous to say who they support. Not him, though. And don't want to pick a side and, (laughs) you know, say different things. But I think it's important. He was outside the courtroom saying this. And he does love this city, as we know. Yep. All right. Now, um, speaking of people who love their city, Isaiah Thomas. Okay. He said he had a terrifying experience over the weekend. He was on social media. He was on X, a.k.a. Twitter. And he said, really tripping on how these young kids are moving around. I really had a life-changing moment yesterday when a kid pulled an AK-47 out on me Mm. and the homies. And if it wasn't for who I was and him recognizing me in my own city, he probably would have ended all of our lives. Be safe. Wow. That's scary. Can you imagine? He was with his friends and they were in Tacoma, Washington in his hometown. And that's when they were approached. And he said it was a really frightening moment. I bet. Uh, for that. And, you know, he grew up there, played college ball a short yeah. drive away. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. That's super. I can't imagine. That's super scary. And then he said, we just got to pray for these young men. God was working yesterday for real, for real. It could have been all over that quick for no reason at all. Mm. You know, and hopefully the kid who pulled out the AK-47, that made him think twice yeah, about what I it was so. that he was doing because God forbid that he didn't recognize Isaiah Washington or it was somebody else. Mm-hmm. That could have been it. And that's a scary experience for yeah. him. But it does show you something has to be done. Yep, for sure. You know, but um, what that you, is, And what do you walk around with an AK-47 for? I have no idea. But this also is going to bring me to our interview that we have today with Dr. Rob Gore. Okay. He has a book okay. out right now that's called Treating Violence. Mm. And it's about treating trauma and healing inner city trauma. And he discusses scenarios just like this. All okay. right. And when we come back, we have About Last Night. That's where we discuss what we did last night. I feel like as much as um, we're apart, we're together quite a bit. (laughs) I know, right? A lot of my About Last Night's deal with me and Jasmine Brand and our adventures. All right? It's way up. 